All right. Um, you know, when they manipulate me and make me experience things that are nasty, I just I like to make videos about it because they want you to feel guilty. It is tiresome, but I want to show a quick, a uh, obvious patterns of everything they do to me. You know, uh, so that whenever I'm not able to speak or be able to, if anyways as people try to watch and see what's going on as a target individual how we experience things and how disgusting it is and they as a target individuals they make us feel very uncomfortable and this uncomfortableness is usually sexual they make you feel stimulations when you shouldn't be having stimulations and however they can create stimulation they'll make you have uh, stimulations for me it's always pedophilia things they are disgusting pedos and so for me, what you're gonna see on this side, right, is is my uh, surveillance camera. I capture myself usually because when they manipulate me, um, and unfortunately at that time I did not capture because my, my camera was facing the door, not facing this place, facing me. And so I didn't actually. This is not real time, but I kind of replay what they did they did to me. As you can see in the green, it's a video of me, and I kind of try to disguise myself with the colors and everything else but you see my feet crossing right and i'm just comfortable i'm watching the the video that's at the bottom of it there it's about animals this guy rescues animals and things like that and so as i'm watching i just feel the urge of just crossing my legs and just like kind of moving my legs back and forth it's just nothing it's just something comfortable and i'm watching this full while doing this like shaking my, my legs like crossing my legs like that and kind of doing this back and forth it's just like a comfortable thing i could do like just you know but what they've done to me in the past and the reason why i felt comfortable doing that is because i'm watching this thing that is about animals i don't expect to see children because what they can do is anytime there's kind of pressure in your growing area they can make you feel stimulations so i do this thing where i cross my legs and i just kind of do do, do what you see under this picture just in this video just kind of like crossing my legs and just like comfortable just like moving back and forth side to side right and so i'm feeling okay whatever and then all of a sudden i'm doing that and there's this portion you see at the bottom where this dog is t chasing this this boy i'm not i'm not noticing it immediately you see it from afar and i'm like oh i realized what just happened they were making me do these things so I can get some steam like pressure applied to my private area and stimulate me toward this thing this kid whatever this this moment of a, a dog chasing a, a boy a little kid and that's the nasty thing and i come I was like oh nasty that's what they would do. that's why i felt like the urge of doing that because that's something i could do comfortably but the reason why this this happened at the moment is because they want that pressure and when they create pressure in this private area, they can teach you to get stimulations. It's still nasty. And so usually, like, I love to, to have my legs crossed. I usually have legs crossed. I'm the type of person who, like, even when I sit down, I have my legs crossed. I don't do that anymore. Because they have created stimulations because of the pressures. And so when I'm just not, like, careful, I, I just, like, they do these things. Even when I like sleep, I don't sleep on my stomach anymore. Or when I sleep on my stomach, I find ways like to just put some distance between my crotch area and the bed. Because they do these nasty things. And it's nasty. These pedals are low lice. And they do these things to make you feel uncomfortable. And I'm going to add this, this other video on the other side where you hear this woman where every way possible they try to make her uncomfortable. personal against them, homosexuals, but as my way to aggravate at the slaves, and since they love to use children for the torture and stalking, street theater etc. Especially teenagers for the stalking at close range with an attitude, they are using them during my sleep in the perversion program, and so you can imagine what the slaves of torture are pretending to do to me. In the last days, as today September 9th, 07, anything I do, either watching TV or reading of whatever I'm doing, they brush me sort of say, I feel like I'm aroused all day and I feel the palpitations in my genitals for what I'm thinking, and since the attack comes so quickly, I realized my programming has been set on auto in their central computers, no handlers could do something like this that quick. 
What make me realized, the slaves are desperate to get me. Unfortunately for them they are facing a strong wall where no matter how much their computers EAP me, I know I'm not changing. As I said, I feel like they've been set up a beam where I feel constantly stimulated, I'm talking sexually, like a heat in my genitalia, like getting aroused constantly, trying to make me feel uncomfortable, because it doesn't stop, it happen even when I go say, I feel like I'm aroused anything personal against them, homosexual. When I aggravated them I usually called to me, attacks continue, I don't let them get me. Today, they continue with the programming of perversion, but this time they are aiming in the use of people, better said young people, also children. Safe. I'm gonna get him some squash baby food. Later that night, I went to a tea tossing with my buddies, and this duck was harassing oh a young God. boy. Hey, he because of the pressures, and so when I'm just not like careful. I, I just like, they do these things. Even when I like sleep, I don't sleep on my stomach anymore. Or when I sleep on my stomach, I find ways like to just put some distance between my crotch area and the bed. Because they do these nasty things. And it's nasty, these pedos are low lice. And they do these things to make you feel uncomfortable. And I'm gonna add this, this other video on the other side where you hear this woman where every way possible they try to make her uncomfortable. That's the things they do to me. It's nasty. And that's the things that they've been doing to me. The reason why this thing was starting happen, they make me do that, is because they're going to crank up stimulation. And because this pressure, the stimulation even is higher. The, the, the stimulation in the private area is even higher. And it's disgusting. It's disgusting. This, this is the things they do it's all the time. All the time. To try to break it down. So to all my target individuals, stay strong because this low-life pedophiles, this low-life trash that even tortured this woman that you're going to hear talk about how they do this thing with like the, the private area of stimulating her in, in this f different fashion. It's what they do. They're nasty, but I don't fear.